Hey everybody, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com and today we're going to take a look at 1979 by the Smashing Pumpkins. As you can see, this has some really cool little guitar lines in it, so it makes for some interesting um, guitar sounding guitar parts that really aren't very difficult to play. So this song is basically going to have three sections to it. Before I get into the lesson, I just want you to know I am playing this and teaching this in standard tuning which is what obviously most people's guitars are tuned to. But the tuning of the song on the actual recording is tuned down a half step. The entire guitar is tuned down a half step. So you'll still play it exactly like we're playing here, but if you want to play along with them on the recording, you're going to have to tune your guitar down a half step. And if you don't know what that is, instead of E, A, D, G, B, and E, going down six to the first string on the guitar, the sixth string is now going to be an E flat, the fifth is going to be an A flat, D, the fourth string is going to be a D flat, third string a G flat, the second string a B flat, and the first string an E flat. Okay? So let's get to the song. We're going to start here with the intro to the song, which also is the verse to the song. So we're going to have here, we're going to use an octave shape. We're going to put your first finger at the sixth fret on the, on the A string. <laughs> And then you're going to put your third finger, or your pinky, which I would like using, at the 8th fret on the G string. So the 5th string and the 3rd string, respectively. Now, to make sure you do this correctly, you're going to make sure, you have to make the bottom of the tip of your first finger mute the 4th string, the string that's in between the two strings that you're holding. You want that one to sound muted, so when you hit across those three strings, you only hear those two outside notes, okay? Now, along with that, we're going to have the low sixth string played with it. So you're basically going to strum across the sixth through the third string. You're going to strum all four of those strings, but the fourth string is still going to be muted out there. All right? So that, we hit that seven times. Then move it up one fret and do the same thing, the same octave shape and with the sixth string open underneath it. And then you're gonna take that, after you hit that once, you're gonna kind of accent it and slide it down, the same shape, down to the second fret. So we still got the same octave, nothing's changed, we're just at a different fret, still on the same strings and everything. And then we continue strumming. Eight times. Still got that the uh, sixth string in the bass, the open string. So all together. Now we're going to move everything over one string. So we're going to have this A string, the fifth string, open the entire time, and we're going to do a little melody figure with it. So you're going to be strumming two strings at all times here, but. Um, the only one that's actually going to be doing anything on is the fourth string. Let me show you what's going on the fourth string first. You're going to put your third finger at the sixth fret on the fourth string, do a quick half step bend and bring it back down. Just like that. Make sure you bend downwards because if you bend upwards you'll bend into that fifth string which is what is going to be you want to continue ringing out. So after you do that bend, go down to four to two, back up, four, back to six, and then shift your third finger all the way up to the nine. So that complete melody is. So if I add the fifth string underneath that, So just time the melody, the, the, the changing of the notes, you're going to continually be strumming it. You're going to continually be strumming it. So some of the notes are going to be hit more times than others, obviously, but you should be pretty easy to hear as long as you keep the picking going all downstrokes across those two strings. So, so far what we have is... And we do that again. OK? 
Okay, so after that, we've done that a few times, we do these two chords. Now, all that is, is we have this um, on the A string, ninth fret with your third finger, then the D string with your first finger at the seventh fret, then your pinky at the ninth fret on the G string. You're going to strum those three notes, but also get the top two strings, open strings, in there too. Then we go to a standard like, kind of B major bar chord shape, just a bar chord at the seventh fret, second finger at the eighth fret on the G string, pinky at the ninth fret on the D string, and third finger at the fifth fret, I mean, I'm sorry, the fifth string, ninth fret. But we're going to release the bar, so we can still have the low sixth string. You're going to raise up that first finger, so you still got those two strings ringing above it. Makes a really nice chord. So those two chords together. Okay? So then we go back into the verse and do all that again. So those two chords are just the ending of the verse. Um, then after you do the verse again, those two chords take you to the chorus. So we have two guitar parts actually going on there, and you can choose which one you want to do. Uh, let's go with the main one here. We have the open power chord here. So we have the uh, seventh fret on the A string, ninth fret on the D, and ninth fret on the G. So you're going to have the sixth string open underneath it, and the top two strings ringing. So all six strings are ringing. Then you're going to shift your first finger back to the sixth fret. Your third finger is going to play at the 8th fret on the G string, and your pinky is going to take over that note that your third finger just left at the 9th fret on the D. And strum those chords together. It's a little passing chord. Shift down to the 2nd fret now, and we're doing that octave shape that we did in the verse again with the 6th string. The 6th string, so you only note that's muted out is that one on the 4th string. And then we go to this A suspended second chord. Now this A sus2 is just a regular A major chord, but pick up your pinky or just whatever finger you're using to hold down the second string and hold that. Now I said that those have two guitar parts. The other guitar player really low in the mix does this. So. Uh, you already know that part, that's just the second half of the verse, basically. But the same chord, opening chords of the chorus are the same. Alright, so just kind of take it that now that chorus ends with the same two chords that in the verse. So after you play that chorus riff a few times, you come back up and play this. And that'll take you back to the verse. Now going into the second chorus, everything's the same except those last two chords. It basically does this going into the second chorus. It's just a power chord at the second fret on the sixth string and then a power chord off the open A string, fifth string. Then it goes back to the chorus. All right? So we've pretty much covered everything except the bridge. Now the bridge of the song comes after the second chorus. The second chorus, instead of doing those two last chords that we did in the first chord, you basically just go right into the bridge. So it goes... straight into the bridge. The bridge is very, very simple. We just have um, the power chord built off the 5th string, 2nd fret, 2nd fret on the 5th string, 4th fret on the 3rd and 4th strings there. Strum that, just constant downstrokes, then up 2 frets. Then take it all the way down until these two fingers are just at the second fret, and that means that first finger has to pick up and it's just an open string. 
but it's still the same strings. Then you're going to end that with a power chord here, move this over to the sixth string, everything up one string. And then back to the power chord of the second fret on the sixth uh, off the fifth string. You might want to add those two strings in there if you want. I like to do them during the actual bridge. Okay, it helps create that big jangly sound that they have by having multiple layered guitars on the recording. All right, so I hope you guys have fun with this. It's a really nice song to get down. It's good to play on acoustic, good to play on electric or whatever. So be sure you guys let me know what else you'd like to see at guitarlessons365.com. And I hope to hear from you guys there. And please support the site in any way you can. All right? I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.